quick order uh, just for everybody to know this is our own built application it's browser based it is easy to use in the uh, so like a seamless uh, user experience uh, we use it a lot for just single orders that you want to place let's say you're not a big company but you're starting up and you have some orders that you want to route around the world this would be a good solution to use also for sample ordering this is the way to go <laughs> Uh, next to that, we have in this application, we have a sandbox and a live mode. And sandbox will mean it's a testing environment just to see if everything is set up correctly before we actually place an order to an actual print partner. So um, let me share my screen and I'll show you a little bit about quick order and how to set up um, an, a product quite easy in a short amount of time. So what we need for this is that you create an account with us. If you don't have one, you can go to cloudprinter.com and register. And you can register for a print cloud subscription. It's a free account to use. Once you have that account, you have a password and a username, of course, and you can use the same credentials in quick order. Now, quick order, you can log in on the top right button. I have a test account set up, so let me authorized that we can go in there and what i'm going to show you is that i'm going to order a photo book so i will look up so over here in this screen you see that there's only a few steps to get your order placed and let's say i already told you i'm going to do a photo book and well i want to have a hardcover photo book and let's go with a simple a4 landscape full color digital toner technology and we already have set any standards in here. So if you don't know um, what to choose, it's always good to go with the standard. It's, it is for high quality. And like that, let's see, you can have a matte or a gloss finish. These are all like setups that you can look through in our uh, templates, what, are, what is available. Oh, that's a lot of pages. <laughs> Let's get that back. So I'm gonna order in the US right now. And let's say I wanna order a book in California. I just wanna order one book. You can either get one book, you can get 10 books, that's all fine. And in my next screen, I can see, okay, what am I actually ordering? Um, where am I ordering? What is the price for it? And what are the possible shipping costs in there? If I wanna have an extra product added to this, I have this little button over here to add a product. I will go to my previous screen again. I can set it up. Or if I want to change something on this photo book, I have the pencil over here to change it. So let me go to the next screen. Over here, we can put in the shipping details. So uh, let's go for, I'll just use test. I like this word test. Um, in test city, I live. It's a fantastic city. And my email is test at test.com. And my phone number for everybody to know, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and nine. <laughs> Next one. So over here, I have the option um, to either share a public link, and that link is where my uh, file is in and it's shareable. If I click on that, I can put in the cover PDF file, the URL in the here or the book block URL and I can go to my next screen. If I say, well, I just have the files, I don't have them anywhere else, uh, but just on my desktop, really quickly select hardcover file, and I have a book block in here, and I go to my next screen. So here's a summary again. This is what I'm ordering. This is the delivery address and the person. I can give a order reference, so I can always uh, find my uh, my order back. Uh, let's say it's test one, two, three. Now I have the choice. Do I want to just test it out and see if this flow works, if my file is correct and everything, or do I actually place it in a live environment and send it to a print partner? Well, let's say for now, I'm going with a sandbox because I'm not really want to uh, order something. I can say, okay, what kind of shipping method do I want to use? Uh, I'm going to go for a express ground tracked option with USPS in the US. 
and I can place that order.